Hey guys, I wanted to create a short video on fasting, okay? Fasting is like miracle grow for your brain, okay? It's incredible, incredible things it can do for your brain. Um, if you have brain fog, if you have memory problems, if you have mental fatigue, you need to do fasting. So fasting can stimulate a certain protein called BDNF by up to 400%. It can actually resist oxidative stress that comes from too frequent of eating. So the more frequent you eat, the more you raise insulin, the more damage that's created in your brain and your memory starts going downhill. So not only will high sugar destroy the brain, but high insulin will do it too. And eating in general will increase insulin. So all these conditions, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, dementia, stem from oxidative stress and fasting can counter that, okay? It's a great, it's actually very inexpensive. It's actually free. It creates neurogenesis, which is the regrowing of nerve cells. It's gonna increase your, your memory, your focus. New connections like synapses it can increase mitochondria. So fasting can help reverse the physical causes of memory loss, uh, mental fatigue, and brain fog. So I really do think that um, people are starting to recognize the effects the positive effects of low carb uh, on their focus and their memory. But I think they underestimate the power of fasting because every time you eat, you stimulate insulin. So I think people are starting to understand the benefits of low carbs on uh, mental uh, performance and physical weight loss. But if they add fasting to the low carb, that's when they're gonna really see some positive changes for memory, focus, and concentration. So the body was just not meant to consume food that frequently. So when you start intermittent fasting, and I'm gonna put some links down below of how to do it, um, of course you wanna start out gradually, okay? You wanna start three meals, no snacks. You wanna to go to two meals. If you're getting older and you have brain fog and you have memory problems, I highly suggest you do what's called OMAD, one meal a day. You wanna work up to that. You'll see some powerful changes when you do that. So you wanna do this gradually. You wanna make sure that you do not eat unless you're hungry. So some days you might fast longer depending on your hunger, but really try to pay attention to your body and kind of pull yourself out of this habit of eating so frequently and just don't eat unless you're hungry. So what you're gonna find as you do this, you're gonna, your body's gonna adapt to the point where you can go longer and longer until you finally are just eating one meal a day. And for someone that has a slow metabolism, this is completely healthy for them. So we're not trying to starve the body. We're trying to get the body to heal. So fasting allows the brain to get into this rejuvenation mode and you have all sorts of positive things that happen. So I put some links down below. So go ahead and click them, study them, learn how to do it, and then get started.